Okay, I had made a video on how to use these top dead center whistles. I'm gonna do the follow up on using the indicator tool to get exact top dead center. So, and again, I'm demonstrating on this motor that's on stand here, but you can do this on the bike by jacking it up, turn the rear wheel, take the plugs out. What I'm going to do is screw this tool in. A couple turns, doesn't have to be tight. I'm going to bring this around. Okay, till that stops. Now this can be a little harder because I got the spring pressure to work against. So now that I got that up close to the top, should be real close, I'm going to take this whistle out. And here's the tools I make to get an exact top, which is a very versatile tool. I have this tip. You can put that tip in. You can replace that with the one I make in here to check this. And with that, you can check wheel bearing, end play, cam run out, uh, deck height. It's a variety of things you can do with it. So, but this is how I come shipped. I got this protective sleeve, which comes in handy because you can see how long the tip is. So it protects that tip. Now, once I get that on compression stroke near the top, I loosen this, slide the barrel part off. Here, here is the tip that's screwed in there. So you can remove this and put that small tip in if you don't need this length. Like I said, it got the lug on the back. You can make brackets or a variety of things you can do with it. So anyhow, once I'm at the top there, I'm going to take this screw out just because it makes it easier. I don't know which hole I want to be in. I'm going to screw this barrel in. Now the whistle, you didn't really need tight, just a few turns. This you want to have... You don't have to kill it, just a mild snug because you don't want it to move. Okay, now I have holes in that barrel at four places. So there's always one that's sort of easy to get to. Pick the easiest one. In this case, is right here in the front. Just screw it in a couple turns. Turn probably. Now as I push this in, You'll see it putting pressure on that needle. So I just go down maybe a couple revolutions. It actually has one inch of travel. But I don't like to screw this in and push it the whole way up because you don't know where it would be bottom out. That's why I use the, the whistle to get close to the top. Okay, so now I'm going to snug this up. There again, you don't have to kill it, but you don't want it to move. Now as I bring that around, okay, now I'll just back up. I'm going to come around again. So you could, like I said, the spring pressure makes it hard here. I can reposition that to get it closer to the zero. Going back up, back around. Right. That was off a little. I want to get that right on zero. Now you can turn the dial. Okay, there I got zero. So now the piston's going down. And this is good for de degreeing cams. I mean, it, it's something that's going to repeat for you back to zero. 
So this will get you exactly on the top. And I've had people I've made custom tips for that wanted to lower it a certain distance down from the top. So I trigged that out for them. Because you're actually pushing on an angle, so... So there you can just... Like I said, it'll come back up. The tip's made out of brass. So it doesn't mark up your... Your, uh piston at all and if you're interested in one of these I'm selling them on eBay the woman and I both sell them I actually got a good bit of work into making this the way they are and all the components or made they're new. I make this and I make this, I modify this, but they're all new components just like they are on the whistle. I make up the sleeve, which is nice, because I've had these already at work and I bend them up. You won't bend that. So over here, so here is the whistles that I went over in the other one and here's the tool. So if you want a tool, you can do the search on TDC Indicator Harley Tool, which will bring these up. And then that's my eBay name, and that's the woman's eBay name. And uh, I have them in 12 and 14 millimeter because they're basically for Harleys. Now, I have sold some where people worked on jet skis or personal watercrafts, uh, Triumphs, if you got that thread size. And I, I will custom make something if you need a different size uh, barrel or plunger or whatever. Okay, that's it. See ya. Goodbye.